So you've gone and done it and purchased Dark Souls 2. And while the first death is so sweet and that's an achievement or trophy to boot, the life of an undead scrub will leave you wanting. Here are some quick tips to get you started in the land of Drang Lake. We won't waste time on the fine points of the controls. The replayable tutorial caves past the first bonfire for that. What we will say is that you might want to take the lump as your starting gift. We aren't sure of its importance, but you can drop in the bird's nest you'll encounter in the tutorial. Don't forget to kick down the ladder next to it for easy access, and then come back later for a random goodie. Yes, you! Give us Ricky! Once you make it to Majula, take a breather. This is the hub. The women near the bonfire will give you the Estus flask that lets you heal. Walk past the giant hole in the ground to the well and knock the rock in to reveal a shiny corpse with a piece of Estus to reinforce your flask. Next, go to the bonfire and hug the precipice. This will take you to the forest of fallen giants. Carefully make your way through to the next bonfire after the one by the stream, in the building with the merchant with the heaping bags on her back. Along the way, you'll see a sitting white knight. He won't attack unless provoked and might be too hard to handle now, but if you manage to slay him, you'll get a magical weapon, which are a rarity at this point. Are you the next monarch? The merchant sells a key that will unlock the blacksmith's house at the hub, where you can make your weapons and armor stronger, and is well worth the exorbitant asking price. Thank you. From the bonfire, do a 180 and go back to where you just were, and peer over the ledge. That scaffolding will support you. Make your way down, careful of the enemies, to the ground floor. The cave that's seemingly on fire won't hurt you, but the salamander spitting fire at the other end will. Time it well and run halfway down. There will be a room to the right with a fire sword. With fire damage and low stat requirements, this might very well be your best friend for the next 10 hours. Now go to a bonfire and warp back to the hub. Make your way to the right of the pit and down a stone corridor to enter Heed's Tower of Flame. The hulking knights here might give you some trouble, but it's worth the effort, and it might drop a shield with a 100% block rate. Generally, keep heading left, felling knights as you can. There will be a final one at a dead end. Slay him, and a switch will rise, which will lower a drawbridge. On the other end is a ring that will bring a smile to anyone who played Demon Souls. It's the Ring of Binding, and will let you keep a little more hit points when undead. Now, with more health and a magical weapon, well, prepare to die less, but just a smidge. 